All right, so today I'm gonna to cover a couple of the new radios that we're selling here at Battleborn Off-Road. Obviously, we've had a lot of success with the UV5R TP and the BF8HP. Both were uh, eight watt dual band handheld radios. Pretty Hell familiar. Mode. You can have all your race channels on it. So it's gonna be able to go into frequency mode, use the ham features. Uh, these came with a 1700 MAH uh, battery. It's got pretty good life out of them. The problem was you either had to buy a larger battery that had a USB cable attached to it or you had to use the desktop charger. Not something you're going to want to carry around um, or be able to charge you know, in your vehicle. They did um, 140 to 520 megahertz basically so it covered VHF and UHF. Um, all the ham channels are 144 to 148 and then above that up to about 160 and 165 is commercial channels which are going to be like your weatherman um, and the race radio channels these were pretty good they had eight watts of power it wasn't super clean but it was better than a lot of the cheaper um, uv 5 rs you'd find for 20 bucks on amazon like this guy the uv 5r5 um so you know decent the new radio we're using, these UV5RMs, you can see the difference here. It's a lot bigger. I like the feel of it. Screen's a lot bigger. And on this, you know, you don't have really got much basic screen, like a calculator. On here, you've got a full color display, digital display. Um, these radios are rated at 8 watts as well. So about the same power, but what I've noticed, it's a lot cleaner power coming out of here. Part of that is due to the battery. We've got a 2500 mAh battery on here. Um, so you're getting a lot more life out of it and it's able to supply the radio with more stable power. Um, same features where you could run a headset, speaker mic, or plug it into like a rugged or PCI intercom system. Um, got your push to talk, got a light. It uses the same antenna so a lot of the accessories will work um, from the UV5R series. What I like about this radio, first and foremost, you have USB-C charging. So standard uh, Android uh, charger, a lot more um, you know, charging options there, charging your car, you can hardwire it to your UTV, something like that. Um, so that's a big plus. Screen is a lot brighter. I like that. Um, but this is a quad band radio, so you're gonna get a lot more features out of it. Now, if you are using these for standard off-road use, you may not need all of those features, but this does cover the two meter, which is your ham and business band VHF, covers 1.25, which is like the 220 to 230 megahertz, and also does UHF um, up to 500 or 520 so you will be able to pick up airband um, You are not able to transmit on airband on these radios They block that out which is good because there's no reason you'd be talking to airplanes through here But if you're someone who likes to listen to planes coming in um, These right here these are the different towers here in Vegas I'll turn her off you can see Lost Tower, runways 8 and 26, you know, the different um, ground crews, things like that. So if you're someone who enjoys listening to aircraft, this radio is capable of doing it. And again, it is not going to transmit on those stations. So you don't have to worry about, you know, doing uh, something illegal with this radio. You can see that there. Um, it does two, two. frequency mode. Frequency, the frequencies go pretty low, so you are able to pick up nautical, um, coast guard things like that. But again, won't transmit on that. One, two, five, 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 five. five so you can five. see here. Zero, zero, does zero, your uh, zero, top end zero. of the UHF? These will work on GMRS frequencies if you have the right license. 
Um, it also does 1.25 meters. So I believe that's like the 225 range, right? You are able to transmit on those channels. And then it does some weird band um, that's in the 300 megahertz range. I don't really know what that is. I don't think that's used in the US too often. Um, I know there are some satellite communications and other things. So if you need that, great. It's capable of receiving on those channels. Um, I don't know what they do. You also can get FM radio. There's no antenna on this, so it's not going to pick up much. But again, this FM, even much brighter light on top with a strobe function. So really solid radio for the price. You can see I've got pretty big hands. It fits a lot better versus this guy, which was pretty small. Um, we are selling them for the same price, so we're going to probably phase this guy out and start switching everyone over to this. Now, again, you know, I always get this, oh, I can find it cheaper on Amazon. You can. I'm sure you can. This is one that I got off Amazon, and I've programmed it with our same frequencies. But, as you can see here, the main, which is the channel that it's on, has our Battleborn frequency. Turn this up. It does not transmit. These are unable to be unlocked. You cannot transmit on anything outside of the ham channels. It will receive everything, but you know this is the difference when you buy a $30 radio on Amazon versus what we're selling, which is capable of actually doing what you need it to do. So I'll go here. Hello, hello, one. There you go. There's our Battleborn frequency. You'll see we get full transmit. Turn this Amazon radio on. Hit the button. Nothing. But when I take this radio and I transmit, you'll see. Yeah, it doesn't even receive. Again, there's no antenna on this thing, so. But um, yeah, these are not capable of transmitting. They'll be sold as this, the 5RM Plus. Yeah, you might also see um, a 5R, I don't know. There's a few different options. TVU6, TUV6, something like that. Um, you're not going to be able to get these radios. We get these right from Valve Thing. And again, they are unlocked for those of you that have ham licenses, GMRS licenses, or need more features. Um, other than that, you know, they look identically the same. You can see that's just a 5RM, 5RM plus, but when I do put it on the um, spectrum analyzer and when I put it on the SWR meter, they do read the same power output. This, these radios, but this one that we sell is a lot clearer. So if you are looking for a new upgrade, this is the way to go. A lot more features than these, better looking screen, USB-C rechargeable, quad band, and uh, just overall built a little more solid, bigger battery, all those features. If it doesn't, sorry, that's the other one, 5RM. If it doesn't say Battleborn Off-Road when you turn it on, Welcome. it's not what you need. Mode. So we do program everything on it. You can see it's got all the race channels that you're used to full names on them. We also do get the PCI channels, GMRS channels. Again, it is capable of transmitting on those frequencies if you have a GMRS license. Weather channels. These are local repeaters. And then you keep going. If you want, we are able to program your uh, AM, FM, airband channels. You will not be able to transmit on them, but you are able to listen. So if that's something you like to do, just let us know. And we'll make sure to get all your local channels programmed on there. All right, appreciate you guys watching the video. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out.